Hello folks, welcome back. Now, if you've been following me up until this point, then you should know how to create CloudFront streams, how to make them secure, and of course from previous lessons way back, how to have loopback uploading files to Amazon S3. In this video, we're going to put all of the different pieces of the jigsaw together, and we're going to create something very awesome. By the way, I don't know if you noticed this, but there is a technical challenge here. The technical challenge is that when we built this container that could upload files to S3, it was very nice. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And one of the nice things about it is that the container was serving us the S3 files. The S3 files, in other words, were coming through the API, through loopback. And Loopback was kind of policing all of that for us. The challenge we have now is that we are no longer dealing with just ordinary S3 files. Now, we are dealing with CloudFront. And not just any old CloudFront, but secure CloudFront with signed URLs that expire. So this is kind of advanced. And interestingly, I've had a look around, you know, the different forums and websites of the world and this question has came up a few times. How do you stream with Loopback? How can you do that? Because that is a challenge. Now we are effectively taking something that's out with the scope of what Loopback can handle and we're asking Loopback to go and uh, somehow handle that. Well, I have found a way. So stay cool. And we'll put some pieces of the jigsaw together quite quickly. And I'll show you how this is all going to work. So, to kick things off, I'm going to assume that you've got the thing running. And I'm going to go into Lesson here in our Explorer. And you'll remember we've got a whole bunch of endpoints. One of them is Lessons forward slash ID. Okay? And that's obviously going to give us a lesson and it's going to do so when we pass in an ID. Now, this method here has a name. Unfortunately, the name's not on the screen or anything. However, if you have a look at the following page, Exposing Models Over REST, that's the title in the documentation, and then you scroll down, you'll see all of the predefined methods here, and you can see their name. So it turns out that that one that we had, you know, with the ID, that's called Find by ID. And in fact, you can click on it and, you know, read up on it and all of that stuff if that is what you're into. In any event, I'm going to copy that name uh, because it's going to come in handy. And then I'm going to open up the common models lesson.js okay and you'll remember actually that we had a remote hook we had an after hook an example set up here and it came in pretty handy do you remember this stuff so i am gonna let me just get my act together here i'll chuck that find by id thing there so that i've got it in place and i'm just gonna copy the after remote here that we had on members when we were just testing that out. And I'm going to paste this in like so. And then I'm going to change a few of the different things. So it's going to be lesson after remote and it's going to be called find by ID. Okay. And this thing is going to have a look uh, for context. Actually, do you know what it's going to do? Let's just make life simple. Let's just say context.result.cfurl equals www.thecfurl.com. Okay, and then it's just going to say next. Okay, so let's save that. Let's restart the server. Here we go. Okay. And now 
I'm going to refresh this explorer here. I'm going to go into lesson. And in fact, let me just... Uh, I didn't catch that. Something about the Alexa like there that I said. I'm going to grab a lesson here, this Learn HTML lesson too. So I'll grab this ID and we'll close this. And then I'm going to go to the this one here, which is fine by ID. And I'm going to chuck the ID in like so and then click try it out. So as you can see, everything works as normal, but this time it's giving us a CloudFront URL, albeit a dummy CloudFront URL, but nevertheless, this is absolutely fantastic. This means that whenever we are doing uh, a query, find by ID, we can also, while we're doing that, pick up that fancy URL that's going to let all of the magic happen. Now, when we started this whole thing off and we mapped everything out, I always knew that there would be a chance that the structure would change. So you see where I've got video URL here? We really don't need that. We should have just said video, you know. So while we are here, let's um, do a little find and replace, shall we? So I'm going to take video URL and we'll replace with video. Okay. And that's just replacing site-wide, hopefully. I mean, if, if loads of stuff come up, well, there you go, one file, that's good. Excellent. Uh, so let me just check that, actually. That would be properties video lesson.json. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, yeah, had video URL appeared all over the place, then I would know that somebody had used that variable maybe with one of the node modules or something. And I would not have done that change, but we are cool. It's going to be video. Okay, so that's one little tweak that we can do. The next thing we're going to do is, do you remember that fancy script that we had in the last video that gave us those CloudFront URLs? Well, do I still have that here? Um, let me just go into that folder, CF test it was called. This is from the last video. The, the, the video. <laughs> I'm going to grab all of the code from the last video here and I'm going to paste it right inside this after remote thing. Like so. Now the spacing is a bit mad but um, I think we can do this actually. So something like that. And that is going to be fantastic, Ola. And you see how we had it saying signed URL here? I'm going to change that to say context.result.cf URL equals all of that. And then we're going to say next. So now, something absolutely fantastic, Ola, has just happened. I'll space this out a bit. Now, we are using our awesome script from the last lesson and we are adding it right here onto loopback. But of course, we do need to uh, do our npm install. So let's just do that. So it would be, just going back up, npm install aws hyphen CloudFront hyphen sign. Okay. So that's uh, now added. And I'm going to just say node dot just to give you an idea of how this could potentially work. I'm now going to go into this lessons ID thing here. Okay, so we've got an ID left over. I'm going to say try it out. And look at that. It's giving us a fabulous and glorious CloudFront signed URL. 
However, when we look at our after remote now, which is where all of this stuff happens here, you can see that we have a fixed URL here. You see that? So here's how we're going to do this. When we come in to this thing here, this after remote thing, right up the top here, I'm going to say, whoops, I'm going to say var video equals context.result.video. Okay. Now, just to test this and nothing more, I'm just going to do a little console log, see what happens, okay? The video is video. Okay, so close that, we'll start it up again. Okay. And remember, folks, there is no field called video. Okay, so if we go try it out, everything works. And over on the console, it says the video is undefined. So, let's say if context.result.video. Ha ha! So that is basically saying, look, if this thing exists, then we're going to run all of this stuff. Now, I'm confident this will work, so I'm going to just take this out, do this, and that is pretty, pretty cool. I'll space this out, I think, just for neatness. And I've started an if statement here, so it's probably a good idea if I close the if statement. That's good. Everything looks fantastic. And all that remains now, folks, is to head down here and we're going to say var video equals context dot result dot video and then I'm going to break into this section here with the URL and I'm going to add in our new dynamic video variable and that's it so let's test this out and we'll shut the server down and restart okay and now I'm going to refresh the explorer here I'm going to go into lesson and say get lessons, try it out. And I'm going to borrow one of these, like so. And I'm going to go to post here. And I'm going to create a brand new record. This one, we won't have an ID here, but we will have video. And the video will be called long jump. At least that was the title that I had. And this is going to be Learn HTML Lesson 4. So I've added a new record here. Try it out. Now notice, folks, this new record, unlike the other records, this one has a video property. If I now take this ID here, and we'll close this down. And if I go to Find by ID, which looks something like... Um, there it is. And I'm going to add in the ID of the new record. Try it out. And as you can see, it's returning the CloudFront URL. If we go to the terminal, everything is fine. No errors. Everything looks fantastic. If we go to Get Lessons again, try it out. Let's get a lesson that does not have a video, like this one here. So we grab that ID and then I'm going to go to find by ID again. We'll chuck in this. Now remember this one does not have a video property. And if we try it out, you'll see everything is fine. The URL is not returned because we don't need it. And of course, there are no errors on the server at all. All right. Now that was a pretty intense video. It was a little bit longer than most of the other ones and I, I know that I was going quite fast and I think it's safe to say that I laid a lot on you. However, you'll be glad to know that from here onwards, it's all easy. I don't think there's going to be any videos that come anywhere close to that in terms of difficulty. 
I'm going to do one more video talking about videos, funnily enough. And then after that, it's just all standard stuff like, you know, authentication and all of the normal stuff, validation, all of that stuff. So everything from here onwards is going to be much, much easier. And I guarantee the next video will be a lot shorter. So congratulations. We are on the home straight.